Hello hackers! Welcome to the new video with Popo. In today's video, we are going to hack authentication bypass via Information Disclosure Lab from Web Security Academy and powered by Portswega. This lab has an administration interface, has an authentication bypass vulnerability, and we will try to find this administration interface using a very traditional way, which is a brute force attack based on this list. So don't worry guys, I will put this list link in the description below. And then we will try to find the customer HTTP header using this HTTP request methods like get, head, post and put. And we will see the result and difference between them. And after obtaining the header name, we will use it to bypass the authentication, go to the administration interface and then delete the user call it callous. And to do this, they provide us credential of winner with passwords of Peter. So guys, before moving forward, please don't forget to like the video, subscribe, and let's start. And uh, here we go, guys. So the first step that we are going to use as usual is activate Foxy Proxy. I'm using Community Edition, then go to the proxy, enter spec twice, and then go to HTTP history. So let me just refresh this page and see what we are going to find. And here we go. Now let me go to this endpoint. So let me see if I can find a hidden links or missing comments. So let me see. So I only got this result. So nothing is interesting in here. Let me go to my account. And here we go. Now let me connect as a winner and password of Peter. And let me log in. So let me try the process with my account page. And as you can see, nothing is interesting, only one match. So definitely there isn't any hidden links or missing comments. So now I'm going to make a brute force attack to this directory and try to find the administration interface. So let me send it to intruder and here we go. And as you can see, now I'm selecting the whole endpoint in here. Let me go to the payload. Now I'm going to add my payload. So let me go to my list. Here we go. Let me select all of them. Control A, Control C, and let me click paste over here. And as you can see, now I have more than 1000 of words. And now let me start the attack. And here we go. Now, as a first impression, you can see that most of them, they're going to be 404 and this is absolutely normal. Let me check the result. You can see not found. So let me just filter in here. Okay, we find something in here, 401. This is unauthorized. So this is definitely what we are looking for. So we have the payload of admin with a lower A and in here with capital A. So I'm going to use one of them. So in this case, I don't need to finish the brute force attack. Let me just close it. And here we go. Now let me back to proxy and let me send this request to the repeater and let me try the payload found, which is admin in here. And let me send. And here we go. Now we found that we are in it. Let me see the render. Now we found very interesting alert. So he said that the admin interface only available for the local users. So in here I can make some of basics techniques that I can show the server that my request came from the local server. So let me just came in here and let me add x forwarded for and in here let me just use the localhost IP address which is 127 dot o dot o dot one and let me send and see and here we go unfortunately that didn't work so in here i have a very good sign that the server uses another header parameter to know if the user came from the localhost which is not x forwarded for and my goal now is to find which of the header is used so let me delete this one and now let me go to the documentation of http request methods and try to use all the methods we have so the first one is get that we are using it so let me use header now and see the results and here we go nothing is a change now let me use post, nothing interesting. Let me use the next one, which is put, 
nothing has happened to. Let me use the next one, which is delete. Also, nothing has happened. And now let me use connect. Also not working. Let me use the other one, which is options. Not working. Let me see the rest of the methods. Now we have trace and patch. Let me use trace and let me see. And here we go. Now I found something very interesting. So the result is absolutely changing. We have in here 200 of a status and then we have some information. So let's discover them and see what we got in here. So we have the trace method and then the endpoint of slash admin. So it uses HTTP 1.1. It's absolutely different than I'm using it in here. So I can just change it, but I'm not gonna do this right now. You can see I have almost the same information as I do in here. So let me moving forward. And in here in cookies, they are absolutely mine, as you can see. But in here, I have something different. So we have x-custom-ip-authorization. And then I have this random IP address. So let me just copy it in here. And let me just inject it in header. And let me resend again and see the difference. And here we go. Now you can recognize that I'm no longer able to see the X custom IP authorization in here, but it changed and exists on the top. So this is can be a great sign for me that this header is using it by the server to verify if I came from the local host or not. So let me back to the admin interface, which with the method get. So let me put get and let me send. And here we go. And now I'm still not able to get access. So let me try to change this IP address to the local host. So let me say 127.0.0.1. And let me send again and see what's going to happen now. And here we go, guys. Now I finally bypassed the authentication. So this is definitely what I was looking for. I was looking for this header based on this IP address, which is the local host, so I can easily bypass the authentication and shows the server that I came from the local host, and which is not true. I, I didn't came from there. And now I can see we have a callus and we have this maybe a link of delete. So let me go to the pretty and let me search for the callus in here. And here we go. Now I can see we have this endpoint. Let me just copy it. So this is what I'm going to use to delete callus. In case that this is a tag, so let me just copy it and let me just paste it over here and let me send. And here we go. Now I got 302 and then it's going to redirect me to the slash admin. So let me go to my lab and verify that I deleted successfully the user. And here we go. Now let me refresh. And here we go, guys. Now we finally solve the lab. So before moving forward, let me forward the redirection and see the results. And here we go, now I'm in slash admin. Let me render it. And as you can see, callus is disappear. So which means we deleted successfully callus. So guys, I hope that you learned something in you. How to use a very basic brute force attack to find an admin interface, then using the HTTP request methods to find a hidden information as the X custom IP authorization and base it to the alert that we have to came from the local host. So definitely we will use the local host IP address. So guys, I hope that you liked the video. Please don't forget to subscribe like this video and if you have any question or need any help please put it in the comment below and stay tuned for the next videos